now jumps up the apple pepper up in the potato car. Ain't much to do to make and me to please dogs as well. Now it fell out upon the day when he had laid his paw. That he fell asleep a dreaming. That he fell asleep a dreaming. That he fell asleep a dreaming by the apple churchyard. And in this dream he saw the wondrous bridge of London town, a bustling with people in the main shops around. For a second night and then a third, the dream it seems so clear. That in this place some joyful news. That in this place some joyful news. That in this place some joyful news he played me over here. So this peddler and his dog trudged all the way to London town, and on the bridge he marvelled seeing shops all up and down. The kids are water running and the ships all sailing by. But two days there he lingered. But two days there he lingered. But two days there he lingered and they came to lose a night. Now the third day came come and as it came a certain day, a merchant came by asking what he did with his days. You have no way to sell and you do not take for arms. Pray what then? Business. Pray what then is thy business? Pray what then is thy business? For no silver's cost thy palm. Gentle sir, to tell the truth, I dreamt it here the once I came. That I should hear some news that would do well for my day. On hearing this, the merchant laughed and thought he must be mad. Say, my poor country fellow. Say, my poor country fellow. Say, my poor country fellow. That's the daftest thing I've heard. Now let me tell you, simple fellow, just before I take my leave, I once dreamt the shall be far from that in Northern Ireland. Then in the north you fire an oak tree near a peddler's cross. Oh, I dream that there lay treasure. Oh, I dream that there lay treasure. Oh, I dream that there lay treasure underneath the case of salt. Ah, but don't you think I'm such a fool to take myself up there on such a silly errand that we surely know me. So long with the prank I keep from a wiser man than me. Now get home and mind thy business. Now get home and mind thy business. Now get home and mind thy business with thy foolish prophecy. When the peddler heard these words, he was beside himself with sin. And returning home, my feet, he started digging by the tree. Then he found such hoards of treasure as the merchant did foretell. And he used his riches wisely. And he used his riches wisely. And he used his riches wisely. And he served the people well. <laughs> Jackson, like a fool, complains about the price. 